G'day guys, it's Grand Reapers again. Um, I'm not sure you can hear in the background, but uh, there's music playing and the neighbours next door at a party. So I can't really do much about that. But um, on this video, it's just a quick one of my new Double Bell K98 Gel Blaster. She's uh, gas or CR2 powered. But yeah, it's, um, it's pretty impressive. It's one of the most realistic ones I've got in my collection. Um, yeah, she's all real wood, like the whole thing's wood wood. You've got rubber buttstock. Wood, 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 metal, metal, wood, wood, with the whole things up here. It's all, it's all metal, 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 metal. So it's, uh, yeah, it weighs a bit as well. Um, I'm not sure if it weighs almost like the real one, but it's pretty weighty. The only thing I've got to get is some kind of strap books. I was using this at a game, and it, it, um, it does kill your arms after a while. <laughs> There's the accessories I've got. I've got a, a scope. It's a um, six times zoom scope. It's all metal. Bolts on like that. Uh, from the history books, this is how the sniper version of the K98 was. The, the mount was up that high, more well, that forward. The only reason it was up that forward, what I can find out, but I couldn't put it down here like a normal one because it would block where you put the shells in. Right. Yeah, as I said, it is a shell ejecting blaster. Um, this bag is from Double Bell as well, it's another accessory. It pretty much just hooks on to underneath here. And so much so when you fire your shells, you when you pull the bolt back, it tosses the shells into the bag. Because if any, if uh, anyone out there's got shell ejecting blasters, you know how much a pain the ass is. Um, because I, I got I got a shotgun shell block, gas powered shotgun ejecting one, and uh, it's annoying when you got to pick up the shells because those shells aren't cheap. You know? But otherwise, I got another little accessory. I bought it. I bought it. It's just a, just a simple cheek riser. Couple of shells, spare shells you can put in there, but yeah, the, the thing itself is fires five, like a real K98. But yeah, like I say again, it's all metal, bolts metal, 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 everything's wood, that's like real wood. So yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's quite quite impressive. Um, yeah, on my machine, it's shooting around the 380 400 FPS mark, so it's pretty insane, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's uh, to fill it up. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't know you can see it on the camera. This right here, that's where the gas goes in. All right. And if any of you guys think about getting one of these blasters, you can only get this sniper. This, I think it's got a sniper gas, I think. Yeah, because it's uh, the CO2 power gas, not not green gas. All right. I've been told you can use a normal red can Abbey gas and all kind of stuff, but over time, it might damage your seals within the bolt. So I've been told just to use CO2, but yeah, but um, yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite impressed with this thing. What do people don't realise? I only found out myself by accident. It has an internal hop up. All right, to get to the hop up itself, um, well, when you first buy the blast, you you don't get the scope because that's that's optional. But un underneath the iron sight, there's a little screw, and um, well, you get instructions in the box anyway. But yeah, under there's a screw. You put it forward or like back or forward to adjust the hop up. I think the hop up's about here somewhere, around here, in this area somewhere. So yeah, so when you first buy this out of the box, you might have to adjust the hop up. Because I found out, first time shooting this thing, I was only getting like 10 meters. I was going, what the hell's going on? And to the hop up, yeah, hop up in here, you have to adjust it. Now I'm getting, like, I'm using the super heavy, ultra, ultra elites, you know, super heavy jaw balls. I'm measuring, I'm getting up to about 40 meters. So, you know, it's pretty good, you know, like average gel blast is about 20, 30, you know, but yeah, I'm getting about 40, 45, you know, it just, just, just depends on the gel board itself. But yeah, if you guys got any questions about this blaster, it's a you know, double bell, K98 gas powered, alright, just give a holler and I'll um, try and answer your questions. Oh, one last thing, there is a cutout just, where is it, just here. I haven't found them yet, but I've been told you can buy a, a mock bayonet, the shove on there. It just it just goes in there and clicks on, but I haven't found that part yet. All right, so um, yeah, if you guys got any questions about this blaster, give us a holler and I'll try and answer them for you. Um, so sign up with the channel if you like. I've got other content on there as well. I've got other job blasters, plus I do some video game like PS5 videos as well. But I'm um, free to subscribe to my channel. And um, there you go from there. 
All right, thanks guys for watching. And uh, yeah, so again, you got any questions about this blaster? Just uh, let us know. I will make a following up video of sh this blaster shooting, but at the moment I can't find my tripod. So, you know, as you can see, it's a bit hard to shoot this thing one handed, but it's been a bold action. All right, guys, so well, uh, thanks for watching, and um, I'll catch you next time. All right, bye.